Hey, 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 what's going on with my beautiful people today? How y'all doing? Right? How y'all doing? Anyway, let that light shine. Be about that light. But let's go into the motivational moment. Motivational moment is you are free. You are free to love. You are free to be loved. You are free to go after your goals, your ambitions, and your dreams. You are free to be who you are. You are free to have that relationship you are free to go after that thing go after that thing that you really really want you are free you're not going to be sabotaged you're not going to fail you never did fail it just wasn't the right time you're free God said in my meditation this morning, when I asked him about the motivational moment, to tell you that you're free. You are free. You are no longer in a pattern where you have to be tested. You have to be proven. God said you're ready. But the reason why you won't move forward is because or you still in hermit mode or you still in the holding pattern is because of a mindset is because you think that you still being tested. You still have to be you still going you still taking your test. You thinking that you're going to be blocked and you, you you're in a holding pattern and you're going to be stopped. So you are in a fear of failure. But God said it wasn't a failure. You were being tested and you were being proven. And you've done that now. God has been trying to tell you. God has been trying to show you all those angel numbers you keep seeing. The feathers, the pennies the dreams the colors the signs wonders and miracles that god has been trying to get to you get you to see is because ah because i keep seeing 7-eleven <laughs> every day every day i see 7-eleven Okay, I read up on 7-Eleven. What is it? Right? What is it you're trying to tell me? However, you keep seeing something. You keep seeing a number. You keep seeing a color. You keep seeing a sign. You keep seeing something over and over again. God is trying to tell you, you free. You free. It's okay to step out there. It's okay to start, to start your new beginning. It's okay. You're not you're not in the holding pattern. You're not you and you and you and passed your test. And if you have not seen the reading on the new level, you need to go see it because you're one of the people who are is going are going into the new beginning in a new level. But you think you still <laughs> taking the test. You're free. So, we're going to get into it. Today. Oh. Mwah, 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 to my new subscribe. <laughs> always want to do that first, but they don't come first. Mwah, mwah, mwah. To my ride and die has been rocking with me. From the beginning of my time. Mm-hmm. Mwah, mwah, mwah. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Welcome. 
don't don't get intimidated don't think i'm fussing don't think i don't know what god has me on right but it's all in love it's truth it's uh, it's truth it's honesty and authenticity on this channel right so if you if you down for that hit the like subscribe and hit the comments let a sister know you're working with me all right so with all of that being said let's get into it right so what we're doing today is a collective reading but it's a karmic read the reason why i'm doing this is because and why i'm um, going to incorporate this into the lineup is because we have to always stay on top of it we have to always know what's happening behind the scenes this is just confirmation of because if you're on this channel you're intuitive you already know what the deal is but this is just confirmation or maybe something that i'm telling you that you need to go into meditation about it could be some truth that or something that I reveal and you can dig a little further to see if that is your thing that you see that if that's going on with you or missing piece or whatever so karmic this is if any spiritual messages come out they come out but this is karmic this is stuff that people doing people uh, trying to get away with is karmic situations karmic people places and things what they doing behind the scenes what they doing in your face what they don't want you to know that kind of thing let's get into it it's a lot of energy oh god oh lord okay we have tiger eye Tiger Eye is a protection crystal or stone. You have unexplainable body welts, bruises, and scratches. You have, they are recruiting haters. And I have other this is the overall energy though the overall energy is possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes okay first of all you're not whoever you are you have a lot of people places things organizations that are targeting you and have been targeting you this is not nothing new same stuff same these are the these are the ones that i always pick up not the ones that come in and out you know you you may put out a a post on social media and then they they get back on your radar and then you know they start targeting you watching you again sorry not them not them this these people are relentless they don't stop day in day out watching you day in day out trying to remote view trying to pull cards and paying readers to read so they can find out what you doing find out who you doing it with find out your personal intimate details of your life these people a lot of these people some people that's just you know don't they 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 got a little something here and there you know then you got some people 
Wow. That's spiritual. That's spiritual. Because I'm not sleepy. They won't that that that's to tire me out. But the message will go through. Anyway, you got uh, the, the, these other people who are wealthy, who have more than enough, have the resources to tap in and get the information about you. And they have done that. These are these people. Now, some of these people you know, some of these people you don't know. You don't know these people. And some cases, because see, me myself, I find it hard to believe. But in some cases, they are celebrities. They are um, people that you have never met, but you know of because you see them on TV or you see them or you hear their music or whatever the case may be. However, for this particular reading, it don't give me nothing like that. I'm just putting it out there to let you know what type. You, you know, the, the people that I'm talking to, you know if you have that type of person on your radar. Because these people that I'm picking up have been doing this for a while. They have been targeting you, targeting you for a while very relentless very um obsessed and can't let go this is a power struggle times 10 this person refuses to give up, refuses to let go, refuses to surrender, but they're doing everything in their power, everything with their resources to get you to surrender to them. They want you to surrender. They want you to call. They want you to to chase. They want you to 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 um to pursue them. They want you to come back to them, but they want you to do the chasing. But you have get you have given up on these people a long time ago. The people that I'm talking to and talking about, you're no longer interested in these people. Your your feelings, your thoughts, your 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 heart your emotions is so far removed from these people but these people won't let it go because at the end of the day at the end of the day and at the root and the heart of the matter they know that you walking away is a major loss that's a major loss that they will never be able to come back from with you they have everything without you their life would never be the same it's not just your energy your energy is the biggest part because energy for them is everything because that's how they live. That's their livelihood. They don't know how to make their own energy because they're not willing to heal. They're not willing to do what's required to have their own resources to survive. Because in order to have your own resources to, to survive, you got to go through a human emotion. And these people do not want to go through human emotions. They don't want to feel. 
Only thing they want to feel is lust. That's that's that that they want to hear feel pleasure. That's the only thing they want to feel. But it's so much more to life than lust. Real fulfillment and gratification comes from human emotion and human experience. Lust, it's a human experience, but if that's all you got and that's all that you know, you're missing out on so much more than life. But with you, they had the experience. They Through you, they were able to experience human emotion and, and experiences off your back. They was able to feel without having to actually go through the process. Go through healing, truly healing, truly forgiving, truly letting go, truly releasing. Now, I said at the beginning that this was going to be a karmic read. But you know, you know how God do me. I'm always one always seeing one thing and it's always coming out as a teachable moment. Let me let me get out of this. This is a karmic read. It's not about teaching. Okay, so look. In a nutshell, you're not protecting yourself enough. Okay, in protection, God, God protects you. And I talk about protection a lot. You're protected. However, you still need to do your part. That's just like going, that's just an example like, oh, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to pray and ask God for nothing. God already knows. God already know my thoughts. He know everything about me. He know the hair on my head. I don't got to say nothing to God. No, you have to do your part. You have to pray. You have to meditate. You have to ask. God said, if you don't ask, you don't receive. So it's the same thing with protection. You're protected. However, you got to do your part. You got to take your salt baths. You got to wear your jewelry. You got to cover your head. Right? It says talisman to amplify, to amplify positive vibes. Crystals. Amp your vibe up. Buy you some crystals that relates with you, that help you, that make you feel uplifted. That's, that's doing your part. God's not going to do everything. You got to do some things too. You got to do some things. Right? Tiger eye is specific. Some of you need to invest in tiger eye. Tiger eye is very popular. But it grounds, it helps ground you and helps with your inner confidence. It helps uplift you and ground you and protect you. So this came out because God wants you, if you don't have it, to, to, to get it and work with it. Because these people, because somewhere down the line you're vulnerable. You're, you, you, you are left vulnerable because you're not doing, either you're not protecting yourself daily, you're not protecting, you're not, you're not uh, protecting your home, you're not saging, palacinto, you're not smudging, maybe you're not smudging yourself, maybe you're not taking those salt baths, um, maybe you're not getting out in nature, something there is something that you're not that, that you're not doing that's leaving you vulnerable for attacks. Because these people are trying to attack your destiny. 
they don't want they they don't want you to accomplish this they don't want you to go they don't want you to move forward whatever that next step in your destiny whatever that new level they don't want they don't want that for you i just told you that you're free you're free to move forward you're free to go to the you you're free to go to that next level but they don't want you to go to that next level they don't want to they don't want you to know that you're free and how they do that is they hit those vulnerable places that may be your thought process thinking making you think and feel that you're still in a holding pattern and you're waiting on god and you're waiting on things to, uh, to, to 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 happen to give you that sign that hey it's time to move forward it's time to go it's time to do and so they don't want that for you because at this point i feel like whoever you are the level that I was speaking about, you gonna do some harm to the to, to the ops. You, you 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 are in a mindset that you don't even know your own strength and your own power on this level, but they do. They know what's coming, but you don't. You don't until you start operating in it. It's going to be all new to you. But again, they know all into it. They've done the research. They have watched you. They already know your potential. Because they have to know all into it. So they can know how to stop it and block it. So oftentimes they always know ahead of time your potential they know ahead of time what god is get where god is taking you to they don't know the whole story they only get a glimpse because god keeps it from you and keeps it from them but they push pride get all kind of readings obsess continuously trying to poke and prod and find out tidbits of information about you that you don't even know about your own self your own calling but god has to keep those things hidden to a certain degree or some of you wouldn't even go or some of you wouldn't even step or even walk towards that if you knew how much power if you knew who you truly where the end result was going the people that god chose for these types of callings they don't want they don't want it they don't want the responsibility because they're their thing is simple just give me a little simple job i'll go ahead on and do that and uh i'll make sure everything is right and i don't have to have all this power and all this they're not on the power trip that power stuff don't mean nothing that's why they have been tried tested and proven that if they got if they received if they knew if when they walk into their power they won't abuse it so god continue to test and test and test and test and test until most of us is tired of the test Tired of the test. Don't want no more test. But God was doing that for a reason. Because the people, the mission that you have, you have to, the destiny that you have, you have to understand and understand. It's a beautiful thing. 
it's a beautiful thing, but your ops do not want you to see it that way. They want you to see it as it's a chore. It's, 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 it's something that's riding your back. It's, it's hard work. It's gruesome. It's just day to day, you know, just, just, it's just too hard. It's not too hard. It is the pressure from them on you that makes it hard. But it's not always going to be like this. God allowed it and made and, and, and allowed you to feel that pressure and, and all of that. So when the time comes for you to stand, when the time comes for you to stand up and the pressure of the world is looking, the, the presence of the world is looking at you standing in all the light, power and authority, it don't, that pressure don't mean nothing to you. You don't fall apart. You don't crumble. You don't flinch. Because you've already been there, done that, and got that t-shirt. You've already felt what it feels like to be to have the weight of the world on your back. And still have to do what's required. You've already been there. So when you actually have to stand in this destiny with all people, places, and things looking at you and acknowledging you and seeing you, you're going to be able to stand. This, you're vulnerable. You're vulnerable. Oh my goodness, I'm all at 27 minutes. Let me hurry up. You're vulnerable, right? It's something that you're not seeing. You need to protect. You need to do something. Set up a schedule so you can get all hit all the points. And Tiger Eye in some way will help you. You are getting... This right here is coming up because... Some of you are not recognizing when you get up in the morning, you have scratches, you have welts, you have um, evidence of um, strange supernatural things happening to your body while you sleep. God is wanting you and is telling you to pay attention. This is another reason why he bringing this up you may be vulnerable at night you're not protecting yourself at night and you're being abused while you're asleep because you're not protecting yourself and how you they always leave evidence it's some kind of scratch or well i didn't do this where, where does this come from and you waking up out of your sleep so you ain't been nowhere you ain't you ain't hit yourself on nothing that's evidence that things are going on in your sleep something that's attacking you while you're vulnerable at while, while you're vulnerable during sleep now oh okay and uh this is uh God gave me originally that they are sending um, supernatural energy and um, spirits your way at night while you're sleeping because they want to scare you. They want to give you anxiety. They want to. They want you to be full of fear, not faith. They want to take your faith away in who you are, the position you hold, 
Are you in? Are, are you impactful? Will you be impactful? They want to take that away from you. They want to steal your truth about who you know you are. They want to steal that from you. And they want to replace it with fear. But God don't give you the spirit of fear. Fear is an illusion. What's real is faith. You can't see it, but it's real. So, you need to protect yourself more. You're vulnerable. The evidence is on your body. It's left on your body. They're trying to scare you. They're trying to take your truth away from you. And they're trying to replace your truth with fear. And this is all about your destiny. That new level that you're going. They're trying to prevent you from step, uh, stepping in that new place. That new beginning. That new level. They don't want you to go there. Because that level is a... I, t I explained it in that reading. I'm not going to go over it right now. They are so fearful of you going to that level that they're recruiting other people telling lies and uh saying saying and doing anything they can to incorporate a new group of people that they think can stop you from taking that level take taking that leap going on that new beginning they want to scare you make it make it fearful make you make you scared to even go on that level May, they trying to scare you before you even step off on that level. They trying to find people that could scare you. Think people, places, and things and spirits that can scare you to not take the leap. But don't fall for it. If you are free to go to that level, don't stay down here with them. Take the leap. Take the leap. Because once you take the leap, it's a whole nother a whole nother game. It's a yeah, you gotta deal with a whole nother level and what that holds, but you you gotta remember you won't be the same. You will be different. They will not be able to touch you. They won't be able to do these things that they're doing to you now. It will have to go to another and they don't want to give you up. So they riding you, giving you pressure, trying to scare you. They really doing these things. They really hyping it up and doing these things behind closed doors. And you know what I'm talking about. I mean 24 7 7 days a week your name is being called your body is 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 being tampered with do not leave yourself vulnerable they want they want to trick you see they're trying to recruit these people because they want you to surrender they want you to give up they want you to give up on, on you. Don't give up. What they're doing, what they're trying to plot, what they're doing behind closed doors over and over and over and over and over and over again. It ain't touching you. The reason why you may feel some things is because you're not you're you're leaving yourself vulnerable somewhere you're not protecting yourself enough you're not grounding yourself enough so you're leaving yourself vulnerable for little uh, vulnerable for attacks but these attacks they only can go so far you are protected. You have survived. 
because God has carried you through and he's ready to pick you up and take you to the next level. But that, but these people, places, and things got all this stuff going on 24-7. They riding you, chanting your name, trying to stop you, trying to fill your head up with all kind of chaos and confusion where you can't think straight. Trying to find people to take from you, to rob you, to steal your energy, to try to deplete you because they and found a way that you're vulnerable, that they can get in. These people are secretly jealous of you about some romantic relationship. Some of you are in a romantic relationship. Some of you have walked away from these people and moved on to a soulmate relationship, someone that's happy, make you happy, you make them happy, but they study trying to cause chaos in you guys' relationship. That's these people. Spreading rumors about you, lying on you, sending you, projecting lies to you so you can tell to you, so you can believe about your own self. Some of these things that you believe in about your own, they lies. These people projected these lies onto you. Because they do not want you to go to the next level. Your destiny. They don't want you to take that leap. They, you take that leap. That means that they can't go with you because they too low. And they will have they will lose you they mad because you're not paying them no, paying them no mind you're not paying them no attention you living your life you living your life it ain't perfect but it's your life and you doing the best that you can to fulfill what little bit of happiness that you that you can create for yourself but you can have much, much more than that. Protect yourself. Move towards your destiny. Your purpose. Your purpose is great. You have sacrificed a lot to get to where you are. Take the leap. Take the leap and let these people ride wherever they, wherever they fall. Let them fall. Because they can't go where you're going. This is what they don't want you to know. They don't want to know, don't want you to know that you're free. They don't want you to know that God is trying to, to leap to get you to leap to the next level. They don't know that you have that you have already passed the test. You've passed the test. And the door is the doors of opportunity is open for you. Your destiny is clear. But they don't want you to know that. They sending you chaos. They sending you confusion. They trying to attach things to you. They trying to attach spirits onto you. They trying to keep you in fear. They trying to scare you in your dreams. But always know that God got you. And he does not give you the spirit of fear. But a sound mind. Power. And a sound mind. Is yours. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. Bam. And there it is. So this has been your reading. Hit the like, share, hit the uh, comments, emojis. Let me know you're still working with me. Pass these readings along, guys. They're not going that the algorithm is not gonna do it. We gotta do it. If you love these, if you love the channel, you want to see it succeed. You want you want to strengthen. The, the soul family, the soul tribe, 
because the more strong the more uh the more of us it is the more stronger we are that's that lead that 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 helps with all the pressure and all the things that we in here together we're more powerful together so i'm sending love i'm sending healing your way and trinity is 